Hey guys, so this is lesson one, leadership foundations. Leadership foundations will have more than one um, lesson in it, but this is lesson 1.0. And the question to be answered is, why are humans created? So I'm gonna go down and read some verses, and then I'm gonna have a review graphic, and then we'll be on to lesson two for the next one, okay? So Genesis 1, 26 to 27, in God's image. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God. He created him, male and female, he created them. Isaiah 43, 7 made for God's glory, everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, I have formed him. Yes, I have made him. The Hebrew for for my glory is kabod, to properly weight in a good sense, abundance, honor, glory, the glory that surrounds God. Isaiah forty three twenty one, to declare God's praise. This people I have formed for myself, they shall declare my praise. In the Hebrew, declare means to show forth, to take account of and number as a learned man, like a secretary or scribe, recounting things, rehearsing glorious deeds. Deuteronomy, love God with all your heart, soul, and strength. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Ecclesiastes twelve thirteen. To fear God and keep his commandments is man's all. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments for this is man's all. The transliteration is kind of interesting. So basically a transliteration, they take each word and they put its meaning in order, of the order it was written. So let us hear God, fear, and his commandments keep. For this is the whole or the totality, completeness of man. Um, whole in the Hebrew is the whole totality, entirety, or completeness. Micah 6, 8, required means good, means to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly. He has shown you, O oh man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Ephesians 2, Walk in for good works, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Matthew five sixteen works are for glorifying God. So let your light so shine before men so that they may see your good works and glorify God your father in heaven. Okay, now at the end of this, I have a graphic that kind of summarizes all those verses and I want you to see how completely circular it is, how one thing leads to the next, to the next, to the next, but then it leads you right back to the beginning. So you can just keep going around this circle forever. So why are humans created? They're created in God's image. That's a fact, okay? That's the core of this idea. But then we start at like what would be 12 o'clock on a um, clock. So for God's glory, to declare God's praise, by loving God with all your heart, soul, and strength, to fear God and keep all of his commandments, to do justice, love mercy, walk humbly. We are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works. They see your good works and glorify God. And what's it all for? For God's glory. So then it would just keep going and keep going and keep going. So this is the baseline, the simplistic understanding of why humans are created. So I hope that helps you. There's gonna be more foundational lessons. They're very simple. They're gonna be very easy. I'm gonna go from simple foundations and we're gonna get deeper and deeper. By the time we get into the core of what you need to do as a leader, those lessons are gonna be a lot longer and a lot deeper. And um, we're going to get into some meaty issues. Um, and we're going to get into some really interesting spiritual warfare stuff because you're going to need that.
So I hope that you stick with the series and watch it all the way through. And I uh, hope this has blessed you and I'll see you soon.